Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's what I call good looking video and we are not talking about the announcer, that is for sure. But I know why you're here. You're here because this color combination on this car is stunning, right? It's whew, raven black, right? The red interior with the red stripe and the double red line tires. Like for instance, I get this all the time. People say, hey, Tone, that's a beautiful car you have there. But they don't really know why it's beautiful. They just say, wow, that's really great looking. We're going to point out some stuff today that says this car might be a little different than the others that are out there. And we'll find a way to get it in your garage. I get a lot of people who say, listen, maybe I'll just buy myself a car and I'll restore it myself because I've done really well in the other businesses that I'm in. So I definitely should be good at this business. Let me just tell you, ain't eh, wrong, ain't eh, wrong. It doesn't work like that. These things take forever. They are a full-time job, even though someone else is working on the car for you. Why? Well, because someone has to take all of this apart. You gotta find somebody to do it. Might be two years before someone could even work on it. Or maybe they could work on it starting next week, but it's still gonna be two or three years before they're done. Why would it take so long? Well, because the skilled craftsmen that are out there are few and far between that still know how to do this. And you wanna get it done right. You wanna get it done by somebody who knows what they're doing. Oh, well, Tone, Tone, my business, I'm successful. I know exactly what I'm doing. I don't really need to buy a car this way. I'll get it done. I'm telling you, man, I've done this thousands and thousands and thousands of times. I've restored many, many cars. Do not do it. Buy them restored like this. It's the only way that you'll enjoy sanity. And we only have a little bit of time on this earth. Why not get it done and start driving it this weekend? All right, so back to my original statement. People say, hey, Tone, that's a great looking car. What does that mean? Well, for instance, it means these wheels and tires. So these are red line radials, double red line radials. They are almost $400 a piece. The wheels, right? The factory pony wheels that are here, that wheel and tire setup is $2,000 minimum. You say, well, Tom, what's $2,000? Well, it's 2,000 here, it's 2,000 here. Next thing you know, it's 100 grand. Body and paint, right? A black car has to be beautifully done, meaning that the metal needs to be straight, it needs to be professionally done here. This is uh, not only done well, but it's done properly, meaning that it has base coat and clear coat, meaning the base coat was put on, wet sanded, then it was clear coated, that was wet sanded and buffed, and now this is what we have. And when I say mirror finish, you can see the ribs of the ceiling. We got a steel ceiling in here, look at that up there, and then check out this. Uh, as far as how crisp and clear the type is. It is amazing, right? That's a really beautiful car. Not to mention new emblems, new bumpers, new bezels, new headlights, new grill, on and on and on and on. It all starts to add up. This is the way to do it. Surprisingly, many people don't care about what's under the hood. They care at first, but it's not really their thing. They want a cool car that can take people out. And I respect that because 100% agreed. What we want is a reliable car. Here we have a rebuilt engine. We have a rebuilt transmission, right? But what we also have too is in case you wanted to go to a car show, you could. This is beautifully detailed in here, down to the little stuff, right? So when you say the little stuff tone, what's that mean? Okay, so we have this battery topper here. It's an old school looking battery topper that just adds color and depth to uh, an ugly green top battery. It would be very out of place to have an interstate battery, not that that's a bad battery, but to have it in here with a big green sticker on the top of it when everything else is supposed to be done like this. This has the washer bag in it, right? This has the correct AC condens uh, compressor here with the Ford tag on it. This also has power steering, which we forget to ask about all the time. Power steering. Well, if you, most modern cars have power steering. And most classic cars do not, right? This one happens to have all of that. We have our 289 in here. It's beautifully dressed, including even the emissions and timing stickers that are there. So I feel like uh, this, is, this is the way you want it. Everything's not spray bombed black. They're different colors. This is glossy. That's matte. Detailed, detailed, detailed. And that's really how you want to buy a car. All right, so listen, this part of a car you may not see or whatever, but this is what makes a car look so good. And so many people go, wow, that's a great looking car. So they're riding behind you and they're looking at this right here. You're inside so you don't see all this, but like this brand new red boot with the polished snaps on it, the red interior going through there, the console, the buckets, uh, the dash, the correct steering wheel that's on there. Like we're going to get in the interior in a minute, but I'm talking about seeing the look of the car from back here in your SUV going, wow, that is an awesome car. And again, why is this a great car? 
back to the original stuff we talked about. New bumper, new taillight bezels, new taillight lenses, right? New uh, reverse light lenses, polished caps, new gas cap, new trunk lock, right? All of this stuff is a big deal. And then we get in here and you go, well, tell them the trunk is nice. It's not an important place for me. Agreed, it's not. But the detail stuff says to me that this is a better car than others. For instance, the jacking instructions are here. The correct tartan mat is in here. It's painted inside. The trunk lid stays up like it's supposed to. Like all this little stuff you forget to ask about, all of this is happening right now. And when you close the trunk, it has a nice sound. All right, so you're walking up to the car and you go, wait, well, this is my car. This is a great looking car. However, most of the time you're going to spend is inside here. And again, back to my original statement, people say that's a great looking car, but they don't know why. We're going to point out some interior stuff too that shows us that we have a different level car. All right. This has a pony interior. I get asked all the time, Tone, what exactly is a pony interior, right? Is it made of horse hide? Uh, were ponies sacrificed for this? Do ponies actually stitch these in a community somewhere to help disadvantage ponies? All good questions, none of it pertains to this. What it means is it has the upgraded deluxe. It should be called a deluxe interior because uh, that's the way it's coded from the factory when you get a pony interior. So there's a standard and a deluxe. Very much like a Camaro and other cars like that. So it has much nicer upholstery. It has this uh, running horses in the backs uh, that are inserted in there, right? And so that's how you get that. And listen, not every car has air conditioning. Not every car has uh, a console. Not every car has a stereo, right? And all of this brand new upholstery, carpets, dash, visors, mirror, steering wheel, door handles, window cranks, on and on and on. It's it, it's enormous amount of pieces to put in a car and this kind of stuff makes for a much nicer car. We got a nice set of gauges on the dash here. And most importantly, it's just comfortable. Imagine going out to dinner with the kids or another couple in this car, right? It's a game changer going to a winery or brewery or whatever you say. And uh, this is different. I'm smiling because you know what? I know what that's like. It's just different than going out in your SUV that you drive to work every day. It's just a game changer. All right, so I want to uh, close up the video just with some bullets. We talked about a lot of stuff here, and I don't want to bore you or ramble on, but when I see effort like this put into a car, I know for a fact that it takes a long time. It takes craftsmen, and it takes a lot of dollars. That's why it's much better to buy a car like this. It's done. You won't frustrate yourself, and you can enjoy it this weekend. We're talking about brand new paint. We're talking about a rebuilt engine, a rebuilt transmission. We're talking about uh, air conditioning. We're talking about the double red line tires and the pony wheels. It goes on and on console and all of the things that make for a great car. And then of course you can always add your little touches to it or if you don't like something on it, maybe you'd rather have white walls instead of red walls and we do a white stripe instead of the red stripe, whatever. Those kinds of things are easy for us to do here and uh, can make it your own that way. Also too, if you wanted to hide a stereo in the glove box, we can add that, we do that all the time too. Anyway, that's kind of what we do. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, we're finding a way to help you get this in your garage. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this cool uh, Mustang convertible. And if you don't mind, uh, hit the share button down below there. It helps get the message out. Uh, maybe you should, uh, subscribe to the channel. We're putting out new content all day. And share with your friends. I think they might like it as well. If you like cars, most of them will like cars too.